Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. Uh, hold on, let me uh, make sure I don't have any more paint. I was pro blocking and I had uh, paint get all over my, my glasses here. This uh, unit was running, it just shut off and as you can see it sweated back, but um, I think we're looking at just low pressure here, so probably gonna be uh, me calling the AC company. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Maybe not. We don't know. Look at that. Look at that nice control board right there. Oh, yeah, baby. Baby. Looking good. Looking good for your age. Surprised you even still freaking work. Get out of money. It's in. Oh, okay, it's in. Alright, bad contactor. Bad contactor. Change the contactor and uh, we'll see if she runs. Uh, as you saw, I pushed it in and it's already energized. Like, I could take, I could probably take one of these wires off and it would de energize right now. So, I don't want to be too screwing around with it, but uh, yeah. Got a little bit of blackness around that contactor there and the pads are probably gone because once I once I pushed it in it came on for a second could have been a fluke who knows this control board I've seen these totally screwed up and the unit still runs so <laughs> I don't know how but it does I don't think that really controls anything but a defrost cycle so these these probably don't have defrost on them so but we'll have to get us a contactor over here and uh, get her going again let's go downstairs and go get a contactor we'll be back all right so we're back on my drill for whatever reason I just figured I I, I bring it Looking at the low voltage here. I did not cut off the low voltage from downstairs. So. And uh, that doesn't seem to be bypassed. So we got a good chance that we don't have any power, right? Let's check it. Alright, yeah. No power. Just some 24s going to the contactor. Ah, it's going to be... Ah, shit. My bit fell out. No. No. Some wire strippers. My contactor slightly different and my little screwdriver that's, that's lovely I just don't want to short that 24 volt out because you short it out then it's pretty much a transformer replacement then because there's no fuses on these old old units it just shorts out and just says, oh, the hell with you. You just blew me. In a bad way. Hold on, you know what? Let me, let me do this first. Hold on. There we go. I'm just... Go. 
one wire at a time. Easiest way to do it. Come on, get on there already. Probably want to do your 24 volt last, so you don't short out anything. But I'm gonna figure that out as we go. Ah, shit. <sighs> Break any of these. I brought some extra ones if I do, but I don't want to short that 24 volt out. In an ideal situation, yes, you should freaking turn off the 24 volt system to the to this thing. So I don't want to hear that. All right, I know that, but I guarantee if you were here right now, you wouldn't want to go 3,000 feet to go do that. So, get your ass out of there. Just keep that 24 volts away from the uh, thing because it's. Alright. Woo! It's hot as hell up here, guys. Hot as hell. Alright, so that's. That. Don't you short that. There's my other black one there. Is. That. And then this, uh, I don't know when I made them this way, but they did. But this essentially is just this wire right here is connected to the top. So I don't understand why that, that was put on a contactor of that nature. So. All right, so 24 volts goes in now. So what I'm gonna do is just take out the contactor. Biggest thing is not to short the 24 volt wires. Yep, that contactor's burned the slap slap the hell up it still has pull in it's hot as fire I knew it was going to be I knew it was going to be surprised the transformer didn't like fry so what I'm gonna do so I can get a hold come on damn it so I can get a hold of this so I can pull it Oh. There we go. Yeah. The pad just fell out of that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Let's stick this on this, this contactor here. Just lightly. Screw going into it. That's why I brought. That's why I brought my crimpers and shit. Yep. That's why you did it. Ah, shoot. There we go. It's a little tingly. Ah, shit. I'm sweaty, so I'm I'm really conductive right now. Alright, let's uh Clicky, clicky, clicky. And you need to go on there. Alright. 
Y'all still with me? All right, cool. Why am I even trying to use that? I don't know. That's probably why, because it's magnetic. End up blowing this shit. Well, they didn't put the cap in a nice holder, but let's see. Let's see if she starts up. Of course she does. She has to make this man. That's why. So we'll give it her a second because I might have just jinxed myself saying that. Like for bragging rights, whatnot. Where's my other? I just got cloudy on me. I can't see. Well, it don't matter. I, I, there wasn't even freaking three screws in this when I got up here. So, all right, pulling heat. I wonder what, you know, I didn't bring my gauges, but I did bring thermal coupler so we can measure the saturation, ah, saturation temperature of the pipe here. Stick that under there. Let's see. Let's see what we can get here. Fifty-four point seven. Fifty-five. This should tell me if it's low or if it's good. A little bit. It's an idea. I mean, there's no reason for. Uh, if you're watching for the first time, there's no reason for me to even hook gauges up to this because if it is low, I can't charge it anyway. We don't buy R22 Freon, so um, yeah, definitely. Who cares? I mean, oh yeah, it's nice and cool. Holy crap, that's cold. I'm gonna put this temperature probe under this here. There you go. Give her a second. I just want to make sure it's not low, kicking out on a low pressure switch, but the uh, the contactor was not kicking out. It was just not making contact. No contactor, so. Go ahead. And get maybe three of the um, maker signs up and then change the battery by South 317 and the one by the east wind generator that leads outside by the stairway. Yeah, 10-4. Thank you. God almighty, the fire marshal's here today, guys, and she is, she is ripping us apart. God, she found three exit signs that have dead batteries. Like, man, if you got the time, come on over here. Shoot. All right, 51.6 looks like it's pretty good for my, as long as it's cold. I'm not gonna hook gauges up to it. There's no point. Like I said, um, so uh, she lives again, it looks like. And uh, that's all she wrote right there, baby. Uh, it's hot. Now I gotta go check, uh, change exit sign batteries. Cause I'm right here by where those exit signs are usually kept. So I'm gonna 
this thermistor is probably screwed up anyway. But it gave me a reading of 51. Good enough for me. It sounds good. It sounds happy. It's pulling heat like like hell. So no sense in even doing any kind of super heat calculations on this thing. I mean, if it works, it works. It worked before. But, uh, alright, so, well, where the hell is it? Alright guys, anyway, I think it's, I think it's good. Having not shut off or anything cold it's really good cold it's sweating back um all right thank that is fixed as far as i'm concerned jeff the maintenance man guys y'all have a great day and stay safe